Hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Farming Simulator 2013 with the MR, or more realistic, mod pack installed. So I'm about to cultivate the wheat field that we were harvesting in my opening episode. And this is the cultivator we have. Now you'll notice that power requirements are included now, and working speeds. So, five to nine and a half mile an hour, and you require a tractor of 100 to 135 horsepower. Um, now, as far as tractors go, and what we have, well, we have one of these little Kramers, but as you can see, um, <laughs> it's only 18 horsepower. This one is only 72. The other tractor we have just makes by two horse, so we can use that one to cultivate. So with that in mind, here we are. So I'm going to, first of all, do that, and I'll show you. Now this is two-wheel drive, okay? So let's lower the cultivator and throw the tractor in gear. See what's happening? <laughs> it can't pull. That cultivator. It can't do it. So, if we turn all-wheel drive on, and then try it, well, lo and behold, there we go. So, that's one of the types of differences that this Realism mod sets up. Okay. Because this tractor just barely, barely scrapes over the requirements, it's having a hard time with this. At six and a half mile an hour, that's all right. We'll get the field done at that speed, so. There you be. So just to show you that this physics mod does actually do something. Um, and I did try it with the other tractors, by the way. And, uh, well, obviously our little tiny guy, the nine horse or whatever it is, as soon as you put this on the back, all it did was flip up on its rear wheels. Um, the other saying it would hold it up, but it would not move it in the field. So, um, that one I have actually bought a side mower, and it's sitting out at the golf course to make missions for us, which we'll get into if one comes up. Um, beyond that, I um, haven't done too much. I've done one mission of the golf course, that's why we have 20k, even though I've, as I said, bought a mower. Uh, nope. There we go. And I figured I would drive the tractor out to the golf course while I was off screen because it's quite a long drive and not exactly thrilling. <laughs> so. Alright, so. I sometimes forget you actually have to click the keys. Um, to stop and then to change gears. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. That came on kind of sudden or I would have... Well, I can't actually mute this mic. Paid too much money for it. Doesn't come with a mute switch. <laughs> Alright. How about we hire a Zawaka? Perfect. Work on, dude. We, meanwhile... So here we go, we have this guy out of the golf course, and he does manage this piece of gear. He has just enough power on his PTO, and uh, can carry just enough weight to actually keep this thing up. I guess we don't need it in the upright position, so we'll just unfold it. I mean, it is a rather large bit of gear, so not surprisingly, it takes a little bit of power to make it run. There we go. This guy, I suppose we might as well get him out of the way for now.
Oh, he's quite sprightly when he's not under load. <laughs> he get up to a whole 13 mile an hour. Beautiful. So let's just take him over here. Oops. I thought I had more room to cut than that. Apparently not. Eh. There we go. Ah. That should do it. Now we got this guy. Well, he's sitting over here because with this physics mod, unless you like lawn art, I'm afraid he's pretty much useless. And that sewing machine, well, that <laughs> kind of qualifies under the same boat. So yes, we want to sell that little Kramer, and yes, we want to sell this. What we really require now, something you have to remember, if you do install this mod, you must install everything from mods, okay? Um, like all my regular... Doo -doo -doo, sorted by machine types. See, everything's still here. Alright, you'll notice, like, Doot 6190 Agritron, right? But, if we go to here, we'll see that... There we go. The Dutes Agritron, everything has an MR prefix. Okay, if it doesn't have the MR prefix, you don't want to use it on an MR map. So, uh, actually, it wasn't tractors I wanted. We need a cedar. I may not have enough. I might have to do another mission or sell a little bit of crop. Ah, oh, here we go, 32k, and yeah, we are just a bit shy, because I think that one's probably going to do what we need. Ooh, 125 to 190 horse, eh, maybe not, 110 to 150, uh-oh, <laughs> okay, 50 to 75, eh? Yeah. I think we're gonna have to go with this one. It's, I mean, considering 1.5 to 3 mile an hour, 15 to 30 horse tractor, uh, 2.5 to 5 mile an hour, 50 to 75 horse tractor, I'd really like to get this one, but one, we don't actually have enough money and we do need to seed that field, and two, well, our tractor won't pull anything bigger than this, so that. No, I can't do water shortages. Uh, I don't really want to run back to the farm, so let's just click in and see how this guy's doing. Perfect. Um, fuel consumption is based on load, and your workers do not, uh, as far as I can see here, supply fuel, unless I was already down to 152 liters. But it is based on load, so if it took me, say, 30 liters to do this field uh, to cultivate it, it might well take me 50 liters to plow it because the plow is going to create far more drag and be a lot harder. I'm not really happy with the job you're doing, dude. Look at the big chunks you're leaving. Boy. Um, so yeah, the, the heavier the load is, the more fuel the vehicle will use, just like real life. <laughs> so, but there you be. I'm going to finish clearing this field off, and then hopefully I'll get to do a couple more mowing missions, get those done, get the money together to get a cedar. So, until we have a way to seed this field, I won't make you sit through the rest of the cultivation, but I did want to show you what a difference that is. I mean, just the fact that with the bare minimum of power requirements, this tractor won't pull this cultivator into wheel drive. Now, when I get a bigger tractor, um, I'll probably pick up the Schluter or something. It's probably the cheapest for the amount of power you can get. When I get that sort of a tractor, we will retry this experiment and see if it doesn't happen to just drag it along fine into wheel drive. But I think until then, folks, I'm going to let this go. We're still in the early stages, so these episodes might be a bit on the short side. Once we get more into it, we'll get bigger episodes. But until then, 
this has been Species 7. Hope you're enjoying this series. I think this mod is wonderful. And great, I'm going to go mow a field. So, I will catch you all later. This is Species 7. Ciao for now, folks.